Hey everybody, it's been a few minutes since the last time we've connected and I hope all is going well. Um, kids are hopefully getting back to school or just about ready to go back to school. Hopefully you had a wonderful summer. I just finished watching and participating in an amazing all hands on deck um, company wide um, market update on what's been going on. And of course we've probably all been feeling it and watching it on the news. Additionally, of what's to come for the rest of 2022 and 2023. So based on, um, we have great um, resources and market researchers and data analysts that help us as agents provide amazing information and up-to-date information as much as possible to our clients. I wanted to share some nuggets that I obtained today from that seminar. Um, basically, at this point right now, the economy still is resilient. I know we're talking about a recession, but I don't think we're going to feel the effects of the recession based upon the data until the next 12 to 18 months is what the projections are, and hopefully it won't be long-lived. Um, rising mortgage rates, of course, and home prices are still being affected by the interest rates that have you know, come into play. Unfortunately, we probably have lost out on a lot of um, new home buyers and first time home buyers in this market. Sellers, be prepared and be aware that homes are sitting on the market a little longer. Although we still have an inventory shortage, there still is an increase of options for buyers. So be prepared to also see buyers asking for closing cost credit. Um, this is to help them to purchase a home and ask and added directly to their recurring or non-recurring closing cost, or to simply buy down the interest rate. So don't be um, alarmed when you possibly see that on offers now because we are seeing those more and more frequently. I think the reason why we're seeing also too a housing price reduction and price drops is unfortunately some benchmarks of prices were a little too inflated. Year after year, we had received and seen over 20% inventory of pricing going up, 20%, I'm sorry, appreciation of pricing going up from year after year during the COVID times. Now we're probably seeing a little bit in the single digits, anywhere between a five to eight to 9%. So I think we're seeing the fluctuation of that happening here. We're still looking at a low inventory. We're still looking at, um, you know, home prices, you know, appreciating gradually, but the forecast is looking still pretty steady. I think the, the year of watch out is 2023 to see how the effects of the recession are truly going to play out um, in the housing market. Hopefully we'll continue to have uh, more people getting into jobs. There is still a lot of consumer um, purchasing, although the confidence is down, but there's a lot of purchasing that's still happening out there. So again, these are just a couple little nuggets of what's going on in the market. So you know, at the end of the day, whether it's time to buy, time to sell, it's all about what is your time and what your uh, needs are. You know, hindsight 2020, shoulda, shoulda, coulda, woulda, um, waiting till the future. At the end of the day, real estate is always one of your best investments, whether it's short term or long term. Um, whether you still have the opportunity to relocate with your job and work remotely, or if family dynamics take you in a different direction, keep in mind work with a professional, work with somebody who is staying in tuned with the market. Team Ignite is always here and happy to help any way that we can, whether we're in California or in Nevada as Coldwell Banker. Um, again, always trying to provide nuggets of information to our team, to our clients, so we can help better educate you on making the most biggest decision of your life, which is either home buying or home selling. We are here to help any way that we can and answer any of your questions. Have a fabulous day. We'll talk to you soon.